Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally doing a thrift flip that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm going to be thrift flipping these pair of vintage white Levi jeans. They are 501, so they are freaking gorgeous. But the problem is, they are just way too big for me. They are a size 34 men, so not my size. I've been looking for a pair of white Levi jeans at the thrift store probably for two years now and I have not been successful to find a pair that fit me. It is very, very difficult and I, you know, just decided on a whim that the next pair that I find that are white, doesn't matter what size they are, I'm gonna buy them and I'm gonna attempt to make them fit me like they were my size. So. This is that video we are gonna be attempting, or I am gonna be attempting to make these fit me nicely. So, this should be interesting, but. Anyways, I don't wanna waste any more time, so let's just get into the thrift flip. Like I said, these jeans do not fit me whatsoever. They are ginormous on me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pair of pants that I know fit really well and I like the style of them. So what I'm gonna do with that pair of pants, I'm gonna put it over top of the pants that are way too big and I'm gonna measure with a sewing gauge and see how much I need to take off of each side of the pant legs. And I measured that I needed to take about an inch off each side. I, it was a little bit over an inch, but just for safety, I put it to an inch just in case. I just do not want to make them too tight. And my next step is I'm going to be pinning the whole leg on the side as well as marking one inch off from the top to the bottom. So here's just a close up of me just marking it with my sewing gauge and then also pinning down the fabric so it will not move when I'm gonna be sewing it. And I'm just putting little dashes from where I'm measuring it and then eventually I'm going to draw a line connecting them all so I have a nice blue line that I know to sew over top. So I'm just gonna continue to do that along the length of the pant leg and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm finally done one leg of the pants. And as you can see, you can see the blue line. I just kind of connected all the dashes together. So I have one line, so I know where to sew from the top to the bottom. And at the bottom, I kind of just like, I knew how long I wanted it. So I wanted around here. So now I'm gonna just do the exact same thing to the other side of the leg. And then I'm gonna jump onto the sewing machine and start sewing these pants. Okay, so now that I'm done, Pinning it and I have my line down the side of my jeans. I am now gonna sew the line that I drew and I'm not gonna sew the band up here. I'm gonna leave that to the end and then I'm also not really gonna finish it. I'm just gonna sew right down to the bottom here and just back stitch there and I'm gonna leave it and then I'm gonna try it on, see if they fit and then we're gonna go from there. So I'm just gonna go sew that right now. So BRB. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and just sew the other leg and hope they fit. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just finished sewing the sides of the pants, the pant legs, and they're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna show you right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. The pants a lot better. They're finally fitting in the legs now. They're a little baggy, but that is okay. Once I get them high-waisted and pulled up, they will look a lot better. But now I'm gonna start on the waist because the, this, this, this waist is still way too big. So let's just get started on the waist. Okay, now for the waist. I am gonna take off these two straps, one on each side, first before I even attempted the waist, so I'm gonna quickly do that now, and I'm just gonna use a seam ripper to take these off. Okay, 
so I just sewed this part right here. I just kind of like eyeballed it, but I think I want to have it a little bit more on this side of this bolt thing. So I have to, I don't know why this one's here because it's, oh, it's because these little pocket things. Yeah, because this side doesn't have it. So this is really annoying me, this thing. So I think I'm going to go in and go here and come up that way and do the waist on this side and then I'm going to do the same on this side so I'm just going to draw the lines now and then I'm going to jump back on my sewing machine and hope it works at this way just because this is not working going around this way so I'm going to have to go this way so let's cross our fingers that it works okay let's hope this works this time Okay, so I finally finished the waist of the pants, and this is what they look like. This part obviously is not looking the best, but what I'm going to do here is actually put the band or whatever these straps for the belt. I'm going to put this over top so you're not even going to notice it. This side looks a little bit rough because I did the waist a little too tight, so I had to undo it and then re-sew it. So this is just my seam ripping on this side that will go away. But again, I'm gonna take the belt. I don't know what this is called. Let me know what it's called down in the comments below. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over top here so you're not gonna notice it. So it will look good, okay? So these pants, they look pretty good, but I'm, they're a little big in here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them like this or if I wanna alter it a little bit more in here just to make it a little bit more snug. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I think I might alter it just a tad bit in the hips here just because it is a little big still. So I'm going to do a little bit more just straight here and then I'm going to work on the bottom. And then we're practically done after I put these things back on, whatever they're called. But yeah, I'm going to jump back on my sewing machine and fix these. But I'm pretty much just going to like what I did before. I'm just going to sew a little bit closer. So like... I don't know how you would describe this, but a little bit close. I'll just show you the sewing machine. It'll, be, it'll just be a lot easier, so. Okay, so I'm back in my sewing machine, and what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much just gonna continue the seam that I have from like the waist there at the top of the pants, and I'm just gonna continue down like a half inch down to probably just below the pocket, just, yeah, probably just around the pocket at the bottom, and I'm just gonna go half inch inside, not outside, inside, just to get it a little bit more snug at my hip area, just because it was a little bulky in there and I like it a little bit more tighter. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like now after I did it a little bit tighter in the hip area. Not much difference, but I'm liking it, you know, comfortable fit, not, not too tight. So I'm good with how they fit right now. So now I'm just gonna move on to cropping them and hemming the bottom. So now I'm gonna work on cropping them. So I already have the length that I want them at because at the very beginning I marked off the length that I want. So I already have it still in like a blue line. I don't know if you can see that of where I want to crop. So I think I might just want like a raw edge. So I think I'm just gonna cut them with scissors and then obviously um, kind of hold up that side seam and just do some back sewing in there just so they don't come apart at the bottom. But I think I'm just going to crop them and then hopefully put them in the dryer and then, you know, it's going to fray a bit. And I think that's the look I want to go. I'm not going to do anything crazy. So, but yeah, pretty simple. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just cut the bottom and then fray them a bit. But nothing too crazy. Anyone can do this. And I don't know if I need to show you a tutorial, but I'll show you anyways. So now that I cropped them, I'm going to go and I'm going to take the bottom of the pant and the seam right here. I'm just going to go some, and do some back stitching here so then the seam doesn't come apart. I'm going to do that on both sides and just finish up the ends. And then I am going to probably trim it. Yeah, we'll see. I'll probably trim it, but I'm just going to do this first. So one second.
So now that I'm done the bottom hem, I am gonna work on the side hem, I guess you would call it. I don't know. I don't know the terminology, sorry about that. But this side here, the blue line that I stitched at the very beginning, the very first step. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna trim this excess fabric now. I probably gonna leave about a half inch um, just there. I'll finish it probably with a zigzag just so it doesn't fray and then I'm gonna iron it down so it sits nicely in the pant. But that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm just gonna trim it with a nice pair of shears. So now that we're done trimming it, we're gonna take the pants still inside out and we're gonna iron down these flaps, like one flap to each side of the pant, like if that makes sense, like so it's open like this. So just take your iron, iron it down so it sits nicely inside the pants so it's not bulgy, so you're gonna do that. And if you wanna be an overachiever, you can go and zigzag each flap all the way from the top to the bottom of it so it doesn't fray every time you wash it. And it just, yeah, so it gives it a nice clean look and you don't really have to do much upkeep. They're pretty much good to go. You can do that if you want. I won't show you how to do it. It's just a zigzag set, set zigzag? It's just a zigzag setting on your sewing machine. So it's super easy, but yeah, just all the way down on each flap. So four times, but no, four, <laughs> four, that can't count. Anyways, and then after that, we're gonna sew these two things back on and then it's gonna look amazing. I'm so excited, we're so close. Okay, let me just iron this. And yes, I am in my pajamas because I had to change out of this pair of pants so many times that I just wanted to be in something comfy and something easy to put on. So I went from my jeans to my skirt to now my pajamas. So yeah, if you're wondering, you were correct. I am in my pajamas, at least my pajama pants. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna iron this now. So that's how it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna do that for the whole thing, but I don't think I need to show you anymore. There's your little tutorial on how to iron your pants like this. And the final step we have left is to finally sew on the belt flaps. I, I still don't know what they're called. So we're gonna sew those on. I am not showing a very detailed tutorial on this, but all I'm doing is just putting them on there and sewing back and forth and back and forth until I feel like it's on the pants pretty good. Okay, and we are finally done. I am so excited to show you the final look, so here they are. Wonder if you spent the winter all alone, yeah. Cause I don't please fall. I don't please fall. And we are finally done. I am so, so, so stoked to start wearing these white Levi thrifted pants. I, I don't have a pair, so I'm super excited that I was able to make it and thrift it all together, if that makes sense. But anyways, I, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's thrift flip. I don't do thrift flips very often, but if you did enjoy it, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to do more in the future because it was really fun and it was really challenging but I'm really excited that I got to push myself with my sewing skills and it worked out. I didn't have to ruin a pair of vintage Levi's cause I would have been very upset if it didn't work out, but yeah. If you do like thrifting, thrift flips, thrift flips me's or anything really to do with thrifting, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos and also follow me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps so you don't miss out on the behind the scenes of all these thrift with me's thrifting Everything was thrifting. I also post a lot on there on Instagram, so you can go follow me on there if you want to see more thrifting. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.